Good afternoon, EDU 5-3 students of Strayer University. I want to greet you this week via this media presentation as a way of presenting week six reminders. Please continue to post your original discussions, both one and two, for week six before 11.59 p.m. on Sunday. If not, all of you have done a really great job with posting your weekly discussions in on time and meet the attendance marks. I really appreciate this a lot. Uh, the discussion number one focuses on an evaluation instrument such as objective tests, multiple choice, true or false, matching, or constructed responses. These are the example of an evaluation instrument. Use this information, which can be located in chapter 11, starting with page 250, and tell which two instruments can be good for your project, the paper that you are writing right now. The discussion number two focuses on poor evaluation questions on any types of learning. For this assignment, you want to focus on what kind of questions can you put on the evaluation for the learners to ensure whether or not the learners meet uh, or exceed the targeted objectives that you're trying to present in your paper. Uh, basically, after reading your materials from the case study and Morrison book, tell what assessment measurements should Tina in the case study use to assess or evaluate the K-12 laptop program. Refer to chapter 12 in Morrison et al for information regarding this uh, discussion number two. After posting your week six discussions and responding to peers' postings, please work on the assignment number two, which is an add-on to the assignment number one. And again, let me re-emphasize this. The assignment number two is an add-on to the assignment number one. So you should revise the assignment number one already and continue writing. Make sure that you change the cover page to assignment number two to reflect this assignment. Please make sure that you revise the assignment number one and work on the assignment number two that focuses on learner-related sequencing for the identified need. This can be found in chapter number three. Three instructional learning strategies. Um, this information can be found in chapters one through five. Learner analysis, which can be found in chapter one, three, and six. Instructional message, which can be found in chapter eight. Deliver, delivery strategies that focus on learning objectives instructional context and instructional strategies for the identified need. Remember, so far you identify a problem or a need. You need to be able to address uh, the need with these components such as learner related sequencing, instructional learning strategies, learning analysis, instructional message and delivery strategies. Um, remember, you are basically creating a proposal to teach teachers who can use your ideas to best uh, meet their needs uh, of the students. If you need help, please let me know uh, ASAP and please try not to wait until Sunday when the timeline is approaching and asking me for help. Um, just remember, 
I have many students that I have to help, so you need to give me ample time so I can help you accordingly. Um, today is Monday, so you need to be able to reach out to me before Friday if possible. If you need help, um, citation is important. Make sure that you cite whatever ideas that you use from a published source. Please do not use personal pronouns such as I, you, or we in your papers. This is a research paper. What the researcher says is more important than what I, you, or we. So avoid using personal pronouns. Let me know if you need my support. Please try to use the format paper that I already posted in the Student Center of Blackboard. If you need my help, just shoot me an email saying, "Professor, I need help with formatting the assignment for number two." And I do not mind helping you. Please give me ample time so I can respond accordingly. Uh, again, I am just a phone call, a text, or an email away. And please try to be responsive when I contact you. That is how I can best know that you read my messages or not. Uh, we are here together, and let's try to work together so we both can be successful in EDU five three three. For the fourth quarter of 2017, with kind regards, please stay strong, stay blessed, and stay informative. Dr. Howard Wynn.